Hello everyone. In this video, I am explaining how to write course objectives of your subject according to AICT's Examination Reform Policy 2018. So these are program outcomes. These are PO 1 to PO 12. These program outcomes are designed for every course. Course program means according to branch, and it is according to graduate attribute specified by. AICT in their book. Now this is module one of my subject, and these are this is program outcome specified in AICT exam reform policy. So we have to use these POs for designing our course objectives and course outcomes. now this is a table i have made in this table i have included program outcomes competency level then pi bloom's taxonomy co and description then i have taken the first module of my syllabus now on first module i want to write co1 that is course objective 1 now after reading this uh, module the contents i understood that this chapter is similar to or it is according to program outcome 1 program outcome 1 says that apply the knowledge of mathematics science and engineering fundamentals to solve complex electronics and telecommunication engineering problems so here branch name will be different for different courses otherwise the statement is same now in my subject in first chapter it is based on basics of image processing that is an image processing or image is about matrices and here we use the mathematical fundamentals to solve image processing problems so i thought my first module is very much similar to co1 and hence i have choose this for my co1 so and here i have entered po1 in this column now next objective is to decide on competency level so where from this competency level will come in aict exam reform policy book they have mentioned this table for po1 now in this table when i read all the rows i understood that the competency that meet in first module is 1.1 that is demonstrate competence in mathematical modeling so now for this table my competency level for module 1 becomes 1.1 now 1.1 is again divided into two parts then i have gone through both the statements this and this and after reading this i i thought this particular statement is more relevant to chapter number 1 or module number 1 and hence my performance indicator pi stands for performance indicator and hence the performance indicator uh, indicator for module 1 became 1.1.1 now here uh, what is written apply the knowledge of discrete structure linear algebra statistics and numerical techniques to solve problem so i use the same language for designing my co1 and i have written use concept of matrices to solve image processing problem so in place of uh, this numerical and technique to solve problems i have written image processing problems and in place of apply the knowledge of discrete structure linear algebra and statistics i have written matrices otherwise i try to match the co statement with the performance indicator statement and i have chosen one out of this to which was more relevant to my module number 1 now in this statement now this is bloom's taxonomy this is remember understand apply analyze evaluate and create these are the different levels of bloom's taxonomy and every level has these words now here in co1 i used word use no where is this word use is there in bloom's taxonomy so word use is in the third level and hence the module 1 of my subject attains bloom's taxonomy level 3 which is which is application level 
in some subject it may achieve remember level or understand level but since my subject is application oriented it has started with application level now i have taken second module that is module number 2 of my subject now after reading this topics i understood that it is more relevant to po2 which is already available with us that is identify formulate and analyze complex engineering problems reaching substantial conclusion using first principle of mathematics and engineering sciences and hence i thought that co2 maps po2 and hence i have entered here po2 now for competency level from aict exam reform book i got this table for po2 now in po2 i thought when i read all these competencies in this table i thought it is more relevant to 2.1 and hence the competency level was 2.5 actually it is 2.5 it is a misprint in the book now again 2.5 is there are three statements for 2.5 so i have gone through each statement and i thought it is more relevant to 2.5.3 that means my module number 2 the contents of module number 2 are more relevant to 2.5.3 and hence i have mentioned the performance indicator as 2.5.3 now i tried to write co2 by using this statement i used this language and i have fabricated this statement for co2 that is apply theory and concept of dft dct walsh transform to solve image process processing problems so this is how i have written co2 now next is identifying bloom's taxonomy level again here i have used word apply my co statement starts with word apply now in this i have checked where is apply apply is nothing but use there is nothing difference or applies directly mentioned out here so it is an application level and hence co2 achieves level 3 that is apply level of bloom's taxonomy similarly i have taken module 3 and then a uh, module 3 for writing co3 and then again i have checked for which po it mapped now my co1 that means module 1 was for co1 it mapped po1 co2 mapped po2 and co3 also mapped po2 not po3 or not po4 so it depends what are the contents of the module based on the contents of module you have to identify which po it maps since it maps po2 again i have done the same procedure then i have taken po2 table same table from aict handbook then i have written competency level now here it is not 2.5 but it map 2. Six and hence I have written competency level two point six. Now in performance indicators there are five statements. Out of these five statements, I found that it is more relevant to two point six point two and hence I have written the statement which is very much relevant matching with this statement. Now since it is a compare level, the statement starts with compare and compare com. in level number 4 in bloom's taxonomy then i have taken chapter number 4 module number 4 for co4 then again it i it is seen that it again maps only po2 then i have again i have repeated the process but now it is observed that it maps 2.8 competency level is 2.8 and performance indicator that it matches is 2.8.1 and then i have tried to write the statement which is very much similar to this statement and then again the level match bloom's taxonomy level match was analyzed because there is analyze results this word is included which is for analyze level now again i have gone for module 5 i have repeated the process and then i have completed the table and then module 6 it is observed that module 6 maps po5 
and then competency level was 5.4 and then performance indicator was 5.4.2 and level map was create level and hence i have written here create machine learning tool for image analysis i tried to match this statement with this so for writing cos i i used this language indicators language for writing cos of my subject and i have completed this table in the first column there are pos then psos also same same way we have to map psos then competency level performance indicators bloom's level co and description of co so this is how you have to write co this is a systematic approach of writing cos now next is now in aict exam reform book they have mentioned program outcomes competencies and performance indicators here it is given following table gives suggestive list for competencies and associated performance indicators for each of the po in mechanical engineering program same table can be used for almost all branches and they have given separate table for computer science engineering and information technology as both the courses are more of a software oriented but if courses or branches are hardware oriented then you can use the same table for writing cos or for using pos competencies and performance indicators so they have given for all pos pos came from graduate attributes specified by aict so it was all about performance indicators and pos and co writing so this is format for internal assessment question paper in internal assessment question paper we have to make a table like this in which here we will write question number then actual question then here the marks how should be the distribution then here the options then in this column we have to write which co this question maps then here we have to mention bloom's taxonomy for that particular question for that particular co here you have to write program outcomes that it maps and here you have to write performance indicator code now next question is how to frame the questions for exam so in the same book on page number 37 they have given appendix in which sample questions from bloom's taxonomy levels are mentioned as we see level 1 of bloom's taxonomy is remember suppose your co1 maps remember level then in that case while asking the question your statement should start with these verbs like list define describe state recite recall like this and in the same book they have also mentioned they have also specified the sample questions so you can go through these questions and you can see how the question which word you should use for starting the question or you can use this table for your questions now if your co1 maps with bloom's taxonomy level number 2 that is understand level then which verb should be used in the question like describe explain restate associate all these verbs should in should be included in the questions that you want to ask for that particular co for that particular bloom's taxonomy level and here again they have mentioned some sample questions like this like level 3 for apply level the question should start with these verbs similarly they have mentioned all the verbs and sample questions for all the levels for evaluate this should be the words by which the question should start and so on so you should refer this book for writing the questions for internal assessment or for any exam you want to conduct so i hope you understood thank you very much